Why are you torturing me? Blair knew your dresses would look better than hers in print. No. I knew that the two of you were working together to destroy me in WWD. We met for the first time today, Blair, when I interviewed her. I don't believe you. And you and your fake African satellite selling brain did not find my fabric on its own. Plus, I have done terrible things to the two of you in the past. So, you must have wanted revenge. I did, but I didn't scheme to get it. All I did was set up the article and let you do what you always do, implode. One of the things I learned after being run out of Manhattan by a gang of overprivileged teenagers was to just let my anger go. Fashion design is it's my art therapy. So, we really just like the same fabric? I better go write my story. I don't want to forget any detail. No, 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 you can't write about this. Wait, maybe she's right. If you write that article, it'll bring her so much more attention. Maybe you should just write it about me. I could use the extra space for more pictures of your collection. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? I can't start again from nothing, Nelly. You can be my head minion. Blair Waldorf, I've been asked to escort you from the party. Think fast, B. Pencil skirts or peplum? The only look you have now is egg on your face. Looks good, no? Skilled craftspeople at work. I've never seen such a beautiful sight. Where do they come from? Uh, some from Paris, some from Garment District, a few Project Runway rejects. I know how to enlist employees. I learn from the best. <laughs> She's clapping for you. Thank you, Dorota. Now, as the new head of Waldorf Designs, I only have one chance to make my debut. At Fashion Show for Buyers next week. As much as I love the line we were developing, it is no longer viable. So, we simply have to do better. Miss Blair, I know I know nothing of fashion, but... No one can do a whole line in 10 days. <laughs> I do realize that this is a lot to ask, but we have no choice. As my mother's first facialist, Elizabeth Arden said, I only want people around me who can do the impossible. So, we have no time to waste. I want a picture of every piece my mother has ever designed, and we need a new inspiration fabric. So, who wants to come with me to Mood? Great, let's go then. Beat, meet. <laughs> 